And I'm feeling good. Hi everyone, welcome to Tucson. My name is Vas Kingsley and this is 509 South 6th Avenue. And before we start the tour, let me tell you, this is the beautiful Victorian style mansion built in 1902. We are right in the center of Tucson in Armory Park District, two blocks away from the downtown Tucson. This property sits in a 1.2 acres and have not the one but two houses. So main house is 3,473 square feet, have three bedrooms, although you can make it four bedrooms and have the four bathrooms. On the back and the east side, we have the guest house, also known as a Miller's carriage house. And that one is a beautiful two bedroom loft style and it's a 1300 square feet this house has been fully remodeled redesigned so let's go take a look As I walk in into the foyer, I can tell right away this house is meant to be the elegance. On the left side over here, we have curved stairs via the built-in lights, 1902 original wood floors. Also, this is chandelier from the 1902 being fully restored. And this glass stained window, original as well. And let's point it this way. This is the church bench from the 1800s, Miller added at the end of construction of this house. Now let's go and take a look in the kitchen. Current owners did a remarkable job to keep this property up to this day, include the chef's kitchen. We have a massive island right in the center, breakfast area, marble throughout, have the beautiful light fixtures, hanging pot rock from your pot and pans, oversized massive wool fringe with a double oven and we'll come over here so we have custom built cabinets with the bronze finish hardware and right over here we have the fisher and Paykel dishwasher all right follow me we have a panel fridge and freezer right here on the west side from the kitchen we have another two rooms this is the sitting room Originally, it's called the bird room. Over here on this side, we have the elevator and it's going to the master bedroom. So you can use to move your furniture. Also, is the wheelchair compliant. Windows are facing east. And over here, we have another bathroom. This bathroom is fully ADA compliant also. We have all through the marble and also your washer and dryer. And next to the kitchen, we have service area also known as a butler pantry we have the same built-in cabinets over here they're very tall we have the bed bar and the wine cooler also they have the original stained glass here too follow me and now we are in the dining area this table right now sits six people but it easily can be made for 10 people over here behind me we have the original fireplace now as the gas fireplace also, they have the remote ignition. It's a very cool feature. We have a very beautiful crystal chandelier. And this is the original 1902 cabinet. Now we're gonna see the former parlor living room. Although I had to show you these pocket doors, they are original and they have original the hardware. Isn't it beautiful? All right, let's go take a look. In this room, we have the 11 foot ceilings, beautiful crystal chandelier. You have a bay windows looking to the west and to the 6th Avenue. Over here on this side, we have the original fireplace and all these marble tiles have been redone and does have the, yay, the fire ignition over here. That's pretty cool. All right, and going from this room, We'll go back to the foyer 
and we have again these pocket doors also you can close these pocket doors and these pocket doors to have like more privacy so we'll go into the foyer and we'll go take a look into the front yard i'll see you there and now we are back on the front yard let me show you here we're looking to the west to the 6th avenue over here we have the original fence from the 1902 current owners added the doorbell system so you can open and close this door from the up and they have the video camera beautiful landscaping sprinkler systems and if we'll follow over here Oh, let me talk about this. In this house installed the latest Wi-Fi and a CAT7 throughout the house. Also, current owners installed this RAM. This is the ADA compliant RAM. So let's follow me and we'll go to the backyard. It's such an ambience over here. You have the lights, which one gonna come up at the desk. You have the beautiful palm trees everywhere. You have the seating area, it wraps around the tree. Beautiful fountain. This fenced area keeps the five tone AC unit, which is keeps cool the first floor of the main building. On the back over there, we have another AC unit, there's a three tone and it keeps the second floor cool. Also the water filtration system, etc. cetera. Oh, so beautiful over here. And now we're gonna go see the Millage Carriage House. Right over here, look at this, it's so beautiful. They have the seating area. This is original iron gate from the 1902. And over here, we have the big space. So this space, I believe, it can fit like up to like 14 cars. Right on this side, we have the gas operator generator, which is hookups and powerful enough to keep the both houses in case of the outage. All right, let's follow me. We have the gate right here, which was also operated by the doorbird up, so you can open it remotely from the front. And this is the Millage carriage house. Let's go take a look. Oh, this is a very cool area. You have everything what you need. You have very nice floors over here. You have a full kitchen and also everything is the brand new. You have a seating area, you have a little dining area. You have brand new fridge, brand new stove. Everything is done very nicely. Plus it does have the two bathrooms over here. Let's see the first one. First one is a full bathroom everything matching the actual the main house have a marble have a walking shower and in this little area this is your laundry room all right and now we're gonna check it out the second floor right over here we have a very nice setup this is the loft style bedroom we have the raised ceilings. The current owners actually did have to raise the ceiling, so it will be very nice. So over here, we have the full bathroom again with a jacuzzi top and a walking shower, two vanities. And on this side, we have walking closet. This is big enough to actually make another room. We're not gonna go inside because the current owners keep them belongings over there. Also, the carriage house have the electronic shutters for the windows over here for extra privacy. Now let's go check it out outside on the porch.
that's very nice and big porch you can see the main house from here we can just point it out over there it's very beautiful over here and now we did see the carriage house we see the backyard we see the front yard we see the first floor of the main house now let's go check it out the second floor of the main house i'll see you there As we're going upstairs into this hallway, we can see original hardwood floor from 1902, freshly added, recessed lighting, also the chandelier been made for the motif of the 1902. Everything is of course rebuilt in this part of the house too. On my left side, we have a first bedroom. Let's see. It. And this is the one of the first bedrooms. Right now is made as the office. We have the two built-in closets this uh, window face to the west and we have the door which one is opening to the balcony as well and let's go and see the other bedrooms so on this side we have one more bedroom again we're facing the west beautiful shutters on actually every window over here at the TV, it could be your nicely sitting area as well as it made right now. We have another closet right over here. And this closet have the stairs going up. So where is the water heaters? Make sure uh, this is the tankless water heaters, as I'm not mistaken. And next is the main bedroom. Let's go. Over here we have a nice size room. We have the vet bar on my left side. So we have the wine fridge over here, built-in cabinetry matching the kitchen one. We have a big bed over here, TV on this side. We have the south facing windows. And over here we have walk-in closet. Let's go and see it. That's a really big closet. We have the marble tops over here on the island. We have all of these little pockets and drawers for your purses, for your shoes. Over here we have a little seating area wraps around this corner with the drawers. And we're walking over here. This is a very cool feature. This is the push rod over here. So you don't have to use any leather to hang your clothes. Very nice. Over here, this is a very cool feature. They had the elevator, which is going from the downstairs so you can use it to move your uh, furniture, just go downstairs and it's also compliant for the wheelchair. And we'll go from here, we'll go to the Marble Glory. This is the main bathroom, master bathroom. On this side we have a soaking top, double vanity of course. And over here we had a walking shower very beautiful place oh look at this chandelier also it's so beautiful and walking from here we have the reading area right before the main bedroom the current owners installed a brand new fireplace and it's still matching the two fireplaces downstairs that's very beautiful it's also the gas fireplace yeah they installed the built-in lights over here for reading yeah it's a beautiful room all right and we're back in the hallway i haven't showed the one bathroom as the one of the bathrooms on the second floor over here we have the double vanity also exposed brick this is the original wall from the 1902 we have also socking top over here and the original chandelier this is beautiful all right, and going from here back to the second floor hallway, and we'll go to the balcony. And this balcony is wraps around the three quarter of the way around the house. It has the entrance from the one of the bedrooms. Of course, here is the hallway, the reading area, and the main bedroom. 
Let's go and see. Now we're here on a newly added balcony on the second floor. That's a very big space, props around the three quarters of the way in the back. We can put a like, couple lounge chairs, have beautiful view on the A mountain in the front of us. You see the downtown of Tucson. It's a very beautiful place. It's a very nice and secure. Right now it's about 5 p.m. And don't forget we're in the downtown Tucson and it's quiet. You can watch the Christmas parades over here, fireworks on the 4th of July, yeah, and just enjoy your view. This house offers you an incredible value. Right now it's listed under $2 million, not to mention the location, zoning for residential and a commercial use, security, two houses right here in the downtown Tucson. This is the gem.